but like all good projects, it was an idea that came about at a planning session that we had. Community education is very much a bottom-up approach and working in consultation with the participants where we're working in partnership and we get to negotiate what the project is and the same when the tutor meets the group, they don't come with a fixed content, they negotiate the content. Rise. From the beginning, everybody, I suppose, was on a journey, and that's the journey that we took through art, using our skills and through education. The group, are, we decided to work with porcelain and clay, and we're making very delicate porcelain relief panels. And we're going to create our own newspaper with some original photographs and some of our own that we've recreated, but we've dated. As a group then we all come up with the idea of the perspex and doing painting on that. The idea that we have, it, it revolves around community and growth, you know, um, in, the, in our area. This one uh, shows all the different activities that go on in the centre. I basically thought I would just do the image, not have complete ads, because it's just way too much lettering and writing and all of Our project is mixed media. We've worked with some felt. We've worked with some wool and we've worked with some paper mache. People also used like personal images that they wanted to use. And then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer these images onto the outside of the piece lilies. That's my mother. Oh, that's your mother? Oh, okay. And that's my aunt. And that's your aunt. For me, community education is all about change. Um, and, you know, it's changing the person. And then change in that person and that group. And maybe if they experience enough and, and really engage with it, then it's changing their place, changing their community, and change their world. I was amazed at how well people wanted to talk about their project. That was very evident. We're after coming up and learning a lot. Every day we wake up, we learn something new from somebody or other, like, you know. So we're doing all background stuff like that, stuff that hasn't been in, put in the history books, that would make it so interesting, you know, rather than history, history, history. Because everyone knows what happened in 1916 by the history books. But we want to concentrate on what was happening in the background, behind it all, you know. I've learned more about 1916 uh, in this class alone than I did in school going back years ago, because it was kind of vetted to us and we were like, being force fed. I wasn't into history at all. And, and even the, the rebel songs, we had to know, know them note by note. But this relaxed atmosphere is so different. We came here, yeah, with a skill of basket weaving and material of willow. But really, we got so much more as a group. You know, I got so much more as a tutor, even just the interaction with the other people and getting everyone's ideas and they all coming together into one like When we started here, to think that we're at this stage now is amazing. Most people come here to get away from the house, get away from children, a night of relaxation, and I keep them laughing. You know, because there's no worries here. You know, there's nothing to worry about once you walk in that door. Everything is left behind. And again and again, did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the voice slowly? Did they sound in that march as they lowered you down? And did the band play the loud?